airport was Norfolk, Virginia. This is the VIG terminal in Norfolk, Virginia. And we're leaving now. Next port of call will be Charleston, South Carolina. Should be there in about a day and a half. So we'll continue this vlog and we'll be in uh, South Carolina soon. So that'll be the next port. And from there we go to Port Everglades. And then we go on to Houston, Texas, and then uh, come back up here to Virginia before heading back to Europe. Okay, now here's a shot looking aft from the starboard bow. You can see us pulling away from the uh, terminal here. Out there a ways is uh, downtown Norfolk. You can't see it real good, but it's directly right over there. Here's the mate and the bosun. They were working. They just un undid the ship, just untied the ship with their ABs who are doing the pilot ladder right now. And we're going to head down the river right here. So there, they should almost be finished. So here's where we came from. We were just to the left of the Costco ship, you see. Nice little sailboat. It's a good day for it. And here's an MSC ship in port here. Not sure if that's a underway replenishment ship or what it's for. It's a nice boat though. And then we're going to head out. In a few moments we'll be going past the Norfolk Naval Station on our right before we make a right hand turn. That's a U.S. Coast Guard boat. Okay, now we're going by Virginia Beach. This is the Cape Henry Lighthouse. Oceanfront right here. Now we're heading out to the Atlantic Ocean. Another beautiful night at sea. It's a little cool in the air. It just feels right out here. It's perfect. So we're heading south down to Charleston, South Carolina. And of course, we left uh, Norfolk, Virginia, Portsmouth, Virginia. It's really nice out here tonight. I'm on the stern of the ship, which is all the way aft on the starboard side, facing west as we head south. a little bit of our prop wash. Okay, 
we're now pulling into the port of North Charleston. Just sailing up the river here. We're looking at some of the vessels here. There's a little small dry dock right over here to my right. There's a couple other ships here. They look like MSC ships, which is Military Sea Lift Command. Uh, I'm looking at the blue and yellow stripes on the stack, which usually indicates that. So it looks like a little ship repair yard. And of course the black part there, that's where the they can pull in the boat and get the water out. It'll be a dry dock, floating dry dock. And there's one other vessel over here too. Looks like the Stockham. Okay, here we go. We're getting across. We're going to go under this bridge. And the docks where we're going are directly ahead. You can see the cranes just underneath the, the bridge there and up in the forward. That's the cranes where we're going to be docking. But it's a beautiful, nice morning out here. So at least we get to start our day with this. It's a little cool. It's going to be warmer today though, I know that. And we'll probably be out here by around dinner time. Right now it's 6.15 in the morning. their morning jobs. One nice thing about this industry is we wake up in the morning and our job is right downstairs. It's a five minute walk. So part of the purpose of these videos is to show kind of like what I see you know, just raw footage of what I see from a day-to-day -day basis on these ships. Not trying to make it look uh, artificial in any way, just uh, natural. So everything I try to video is just naturally part of my normal day. And here we are directly under the bridge. And there we are sailing under the bridge. Always pretty cool. So here we are at our pier blue flashing light up there just behind that other ship. That's where we're going to be, the front of the ship. The ship uh, right there next to us will be the Yorktown Express. That's a Crowley container ship. They're pretty much on the same run that we are. And the ship down the river there, the big box looking one, that's a car carrier. Charleston, South Carolina.
Okay, it's now 6 p.m. and we are leaving. The Yorkstown Express is still here. So we had a good day here. Went to shore for a little while, did a little shopping. Came back to the ship and relaxed. Had some dinner, now we're leaving. And we'll just relax for the evening and sail down to Fort, Fort Everglades, Florida. There's the tugboat. And here's a good look at the Yorktown Express starboard side. Looks like they only have one crane operating right now. Ship, I believe, is operated by Crowley. A U.S. flagship. And the tugboat will assist us as we turn around and head on out under the bridge that we came in this morning, which we saw at sunrise. So here's a little look at the ship spinning around. back aft. And we're swinging around and we're going to clear this buoy right here. And we will proceed underneath the, the bridge up there. And head on down the river. Okay, the thruster stopped. We have a bow and a stern thruster on this vessel to assist in turning, along with the tugboats. So we're just going to clear that buoy there and then head on out. Boats in the mate. And there goes the tugboat. We don't need that anymore. Hey guys, here we go again. We saw it first thing in the morning this morning. And now we're leaving, going under the bridge again. Hardly cloudy. We saw a beautiful sunrise this morning though, when we came under. And here we are directly underneath the bridge. Always fun. You can see some traffic going over. UPS truck. Hey guys, we're passing the Marad ships here, the Ready Reserve Fleet. The Cape D's. This is the Cape Dakota and the Edmund. This is the Marad, which is the Maritime Administration. These are government ships. There's the Diamond and the Douglas. Okay, there's the Dakota and the Cape Edmont. And I've worked on Marad ships for at least 10 years in the past. In times of war, they'll carry military cargo to where it needs to go. The Diamond and the Cape Douglas. And to the left, you see the, the Cape Domingo. Like I said, these are ready reserve fleet. Reduced operational status crews are very minimal, like uh, nine or ten people. Okay. 
Cape Decision. And the last one is the Cape Decision, which my partner just said. So that's it, guys. We have six ships here. Maritime Administration, Ready Reserve Fleet. Just sitting here, ready to go if needed. Yeah, it looks like some rain coming. Oh, maybe just isolated. Okay, now we're going under another bridge. I believe this is Route 17 in Charleston. walking across. There's a walkway that goes across the bridge if you want to walk across it. Pretty cool. And way out there in the distance on the left side of the screen you can see some uh, cranes. That's the Wando Welsh Terminal where we used to go but now we go to North Charleston. Oh, big birds. Look at these big huge birds. some old military ship that's been here for a long time. I'm assuming it's being used for a museum, I'm guessing. But I'm not 100% sure. Here's a couple car carriers. Willenius Wilhelmsen, an ARC ship. section below what this is you can let us know sailing out the river here in Charleston it looks like an old porch or something though but uh, anyway guys we're gonna call it a day here uh, Charleston South Carolina tomorrow evening we will be approximately 1900 hours 7 p.m. arriving in Fort Everglades uh, Fort Lauderdale Florida so we will hang out there and have a little bit of fun if we get time, we'll make some footage there. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. So anyway, we'll be back later. There goes uh, Princess Cruises. Just left the port. We're pulling into Fort Lauderdale, Fort Everglades. And they just came out of the, to uh, the port. Princess Cruise Line. It's a little uh, rainy weather today. You can see how choppy the seas are here. And there they go. Here we go, looking in. Not the greatest weather today. So we're looking at the Fort Everglades, Fort Lauderdale. So we're going into the port right here. Just to the left of that big tall white building is the entrance to the port. You can see this tugboat out here. Flopping around a little bit in the waves. And here is the other tugboat. We'll take one on the stern and one on the bow. Okay, we're going in just by the beach. We just took a tug on. So we have a tug assisting us now. There's town. And we're going up into the port here and after this green buoy to the left over here, in the center of the frame right now, we will make a left turn up there a little bit. And we will go down 
to those cranes right there. That's our terminal. That's the line from the tugboat. pouring rain earlier, so we got lucky. And look at this, guys. You have to come in and make a sharp turn right there in between the buoy and the dock and go straight up this skinny. And we're almost a thousand foot ship. Here goes an airplane taking off from Miami International, I guess, which is just back there in the background. turn and we just cleared. Looks like there's some uh, construction going on here. I'm assuming this is going to be another cruise ship terminal because just the water right back there is where one of the cruise ships sits. So it's probably going to be another cruise ship terminal. This whole little area here. And then straight up there the black uh, cranes. That's where we're headed guys. So we'll be there in a few minutes. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning. We were supposed to leave at 5 a.m. It's about 11 Right now, we've tried twice to leave, and then the, the weather bands picked up, and the winds and the rain. It's a little bit better now, you can hear the wind. This is a uh, subtropical storm, Alberto, causing us a lot of delays here. So, we, we tried twice to leave, so maybe again later we'll try again. Breaking the weather again, you can hear the wind. So, and it's okay, we'll just do that for the effect to see you here. Anyway, uh, it's a little more calm than it was before. So we'll try it again to get out here, but anyway, we're going to end this episode for the ship vlog, and we will be back. We're going to head to Houston, Texas next, and on up to Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia, the port, before we head to Europe. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with lots more road trips this summer, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.